Silk is famous for being soft and smooth, but if it moves fast enough, can it cut things as well? Have you ever seen the videos of people cutting things with paper on an angle grinder? I have, so you've said on an angle grinder, I've actually seen people do it with Dremel pieces. Okay, so yeah. smaller little wheels on a Dremel. I've seen it on an angle grinder and I've also seen it attached to a table saw Holy blade. Holy cow. I want to try at least the angle grinder version of this. But that's not paper. I have some paper so we can try it ourselves, but then I also, yes, I have some cloth. This is a couple of silk pillowcases. I thought that silk is even softer and more malleable than paper. Yeah, it's like- Stronger, but it's- very flexible. soft. So yeah, I thought it'd be interesting to try this to see if high speed silk can cut things similar to the way that high speed paper can cut things. Here's the basic idea. We're going to take some silk cloth and attach it onto power tools that spin really fast. Will the quick moving silk be able to cut through things that it normally wouldn't? So with silk, if you burn it, what you're supposed to get is sort of a sputtering flame that's not very visible. It should go out pretty easily and the biggest key is that the smell will not smell like anything artificial or plastic. It's gonna smell like burnt hair, which is not fun. No, but it makes sense. But it, it is. So silk is entirely organic, so it does make sense that it would smell kind of like burning hair. Sure enough, went right Can't up. see the flame very much. Sputters a little bit. Sputter, sputter. And it put itself out. And boy, does that smell like burning hair. Yeah, oh. Okay, we can be done now. You can, no! I have some more smell of burning no! hair. <laughs> So we're gonna try it with this silk, assuming that it is real silk, and if it's not, then it's gonna be with whatever claims to be silk. But to start, I wanna try it with the paper. Okay. That is our paper blade. It's four layers of just standard printer paper put together. I think it's time to see how much this can cut. Okay, I thought I'd start off with a piece of PVC pipe. It's somewhat rigid and hard compared to some things. Um, and uh, a lot of what I have is fruits and vegetables because I thought it would look cool. But I feel like once the paper gets wet, the effectiveness is gonna go way down. So I'm gonna start off with this PVC pipe and see if I can cut into it at all. Here goes, paper. It didn't fly apart, that's encouraging. All right. There's definitely some burning going on, but we have a very nice thin cut into this PVC. It's a little hard to control the angle. The paper is flexible enough that it started to deflect and you can see it just and it kept going off at an angle here, but it's cut, and how's our paper holding up? It's actually okay. It looks great. It's got a little bit of a burned edge at this point. I don't think we have lost too much of the diameter of it, but that cut pretty nicely. I can't tell which is winning. The brick is definitely oh, winning. wow! It marked a tiny, tiny bit of it and then started like shredding the edge of the paper a little oh, bit. Okay. So, wow. yeah, that's brick, like a... not so much. <laughs> Trying against a piece of wood, the brick won, the plastic lost. What broke? The paper blade. Well, I got a good way through, yeah. probably halfway through this piece of wood and then something in there, it didn't cut smoothly, it seized on and just shredded our paper blade. It sure did, and it was burning it as it went. I think let's try and make like three silk blades. Okay. Because I do suspect that things are gonna get ruined. But let's see how they go. One of the things I wanna definitely do, probably start with just one, but I suspect because the silk is woven, it's, you know, it's got the fibers going warp and weft, whichever is which, there's no edge to it once you cut it. And so I think I'm gonna turn it on and it's just all gonna unravel spectacularly huh. and very quickly. But that's why we're gonna have multiple layers glued together at like cross angles to give it just enough strength to not fly apart. <laughs> Starting off, we have one single layer of silk. What are your predictions for this? I think it's going to completely unravel. I think all of the weave is just gonna come apart and this is just gonna be like a tangle of threads. 
I think very it's quickly. Just gonna stay like that. I don't think it's gonna do anything. It's just, it's just gonna bend over. You think it'll just like you know, lightly buff the yeah, PVC a little yeah, bit? Yeah, maybe we'll get some shiny PVC. All right, so I'm gonna turn it on and just let it go for a few seconds before I even connect it to see if just spinning does anything to it. Just watch. We've invented Here the world's goes. best blade. You win. Okay, I turned it on for half you a second win. and it shredded itself to bits. You win. I'm gonna turn it on again. I'll be over here. All right, so now it's it's sort of uh, shredded to a point where it's holding a little bit. So now I'm gonna take this nice frayed <laughs> brush and see what that does to the PVC. Do it. Nate. We have sent silk fibers Nate? blasting out in a wide range. You know, I think I polished. <laughs> You part did. of the PVC you quite did. nicely right here. That's That's really? got some good shine to it. Single layer of silk Not with no much. reinforcements. <laughs> mm, pretty much shredded instantly and was ineffectual cutting anything. Yep, you win. Here's the three I put Well, together. actually, I want to go on to this. This is oh. four. Right. But also not secured. It's It's got a little <laughs> bit of glue in the middle, but Again, World's a floppy disk. In, oh, it's a floppy disk. Guys, a floppy disk is an old way of transferring files. It was a physical medium. It's like a thumb drive, but mm -hmm. big and awkward and couldn't it hold much. It looks like what your save file button looks like. Okay, actually, you know what? I'm going to take the guard off because I think it's possible that it's just shredding against the side of the metal oh, here. That's probably true. And so I wanna see if the cloth holds itself together better without the guard there to run into. Last time it took like half a second, so we'll see if we get the same thing. <laughs> yes, yes, we're, we're definitely getting some shredding. And it's like not staying together as like one unified piece. It looks like it's about half an inch wide. Let's try an apple. Beautiful mess. That's really good to see in high frame rate, just the, the fact that it's not even <laughs> pretending to act as a blade. It's brushy, 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 brushy. But it's like going in a way, it's just like <laughs> and I just got the same. Okay, three layers of silk. This is being held together with glue stick glue. Hopefully the glue stick glue is not imparting too much additional strength and throwing off the test. We know that without the glue stick glue, it does nothing. So that's interesting because it did stay together much more, but it also is not traveling like as a nice blade. It's yeah. like offset a now, little bit. I wonder if that has to do with the fact that when we were pressing these down, we were pulling the fibers could and, be. and twisting them a little bit. Even though it's moving a lot, I do want to try it on the PVC. I want to see if it can cut through it and uh, then move from the PVC to some produce. <laughs> Well, what? we did it. Yeah! So the blade was wobbling a lot, so it didn't cut like nice and smooth, but it did Look, wear down it made through. made dust. Yeah, I think it just made PVC dust. Apple time. Apple time. <laughs> very, very slight bruise maybe. I don't think it could get through the peel. Maybe something more grippy and less slippy. Maybe. We didn't have, even clean it. We have a very, oh, I think I did. The skin is very cleaned right here. And then there's a very slight indentation that almost gets down to the actual potato I, part. I think we've probably used up this blade. So far, we have been unsuccessful at cutting anything, but we do now have this lovely silk brush. So what I wanna try is this is some metal polish. I'm gonna try and apply some metal polish to our brush and then go on the aluminum here that we have around the edge oh. of the workbench. See if it works as a polish. I suspect what's gonna happen is I'm going to get covered in metal polish. Aha! We got a polished spot. So All what right. we've made is a polishing wheel. A very inefficient polishing wheel. <laughs> Good. But that is a very shiny spot. You've got a, basically a mirror shine oh, there. Oh yeah, you can see yourself. I mean, part of yourself. You can't see your whole self in it at once, but I can see, that's yeah. very shiny. All right, we do have one more silk blade. Okay. This one has four pieces to it. Ah! 
it looked like it was cutting it for a second. For a second it did. I think it just folded, oh. actually. Let's try it with a coconut. Okay. Neat. It made a mess. You know, I'm beginning to suspect that paper holds itself together <laughs> better than silk. Now it just looks like a blade. At this point, it's basically just a plastic blade. That's what we've got nice. going on here. And we'll see if it holds itself together or not. And I'm going to be kind of hiding behind the guard as much as I can here with my glasses on when I first turn it on. Just because I am a little nervous about what's happening on this. All right, here goes. Well, that cuts right into pineapple, no problem. That was super easy. Didn't even really slow it down. Let's try the PVC a little bit. Okay. Oh, that's a smell. Mm. Let's try a coconut. Oh, good. <laughs> Fire? Coconut shell. Holy cow! Likes to smoke a lot. It looks like we set a fire. It just oh, and it smells like super glue. <sighs> wafting out. My lungs. Okay. So let's think this through. Should you make a blade out of super glue? Probably and silk? not. No. It cut things a little bit. It but does. It a little, smokes a whole lot, and then a it's just little bit. friction burning super glue. So I'd say you should just purchase the blades yeah. rather than trying to make them out of silk and super glue. It's a fun experiment. Real silk actually cutting stuff, not so much. It looks pretty. And it did polish this little spot on our desk. Overall, I think the paper was better at cutting because we cut through like a good piece of wood with that. We cut through the PVC pipe. Silk is just very soft and flexible. If you have any ideas of other things you'd like to see blades made of, like something that's somehow different mm -hmm. from everything we've already done, not something like paper, not something like silk. So yeah, I know there's a thousand other types of cloth, but I think they're all gonna be mostly similar. Anything that's woven isn't gonna work because the fibers can come apart. And anything that's knit is probably gonna be too stretchy. Not candy, that's just gonna break. Guys, that's not all. You know we've always got more for you to see. And if you like this kind of content, make sure that you hit that button to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Talk to you then.